Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Or you can call me Zero. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I achieved this look that you see on the screen. It is a mishmash of the clean girl makeup look with a sprinkle of the boy beat that was trendy a few years ago. And I'm also going to be doing a first impressions of the NARS light reflecting foundation in the shade Moria. I know everybody on the mom has reviewed this foundation. I'm new to NARS. I have never used a single product from NARS before. And I bought this foundation because I need new foundation and it's been getting loads of like good reviews. So I'm going to try it out for the first time today and let you know my first impressions and if I like it I will go ahead and do like a full face of NARS um, video if you want to see that subscribe definitely uh, but let me know in the comments if you really want to see that or not so I know if I should spend my money or not okay I think that's everything I wanted to say for the intro so let's get into the makeup look okay voice over me taking over the 99 is that how you say that I don't know anyway um, I had already applied skincare to my face prior to this like about 30 minutes before so took off my glasses put some color corrector on I applied way too much there so I fixed it don't worry I really need to get a new tub of this color corrector I'm running out I did not apply primer just because I didn't have any primer on hand but I've ordered some milk hydro grip primer I'm really excited for it to come and yep, I just blend. Sometimes I wonder if this step is really necessary because I blend it into nothing. But anyway, time for foundation. Okay, I'm breaking the third wall really quickly just to get my first impressions of this. I swatched it on my Instagram. God, my hair is terrible. Anyway, I swatched it for the first time on Instagram and immediately it was more liquidy than what I had previously used. But I like the color. I think it's a nice color. I think it works for my skin tone, but we shall see. I'll just pop in and out just to let you know what I feel or I will just save it till the end, whichever is easier. So like I said earlier, the foundation is a lot liquidy. So I was really careful when I was pumping it onto my face because I didn't want to put too much on. Um, I went ahead and blended that one side first just to see what it looked like. Then I put the foundation all over my face and then I went into spot conceal. I don't think I showed this, but initially I was like, is there any point spots concealing? But I decided to go ahead and do it because I always do it, um, especially around my mouth area. But yeah, I did like my typical routine with the foundation and I'm just going to save my thoughts for the end because I know I mentioned it in the video. One of the most important components for the clean girl makeup look is clear skin. It's like the no makeup makeup look kind of so very natural looking skin very soft dewy all of that healthy looking skin so i went in with my makeup sponge just to press everything in get it looking as natural as possible you guys know this trend is the opposite from what i do i am a full coverage kind of girl i love my cake um <laughs> but i do appreciate the trend and i really like it i think it's cute I try my best to go for a more subtle under eye highlights. So I use the Rare Beauty one. It is much lighter, but it is very, very sheer and I blend it everything out. This is like the least amount of concealer I've used in my life on this channel for a look. I hope you guys are proud of me. I was committed to doing my best on this um, clean girl look. I think I've broken some sort of record on my channel for least amount of concealer used in a look. Again, I went in with my makeup sponge to further blend the under eye out. Then I set it with my Fenty Beauty powder in honey. That powder took away from the brightness of my under eye. So I went in lightly over the top of it with my Makeup Revolution banana powder, I believe, just to bring back some of that brightness back to my under eye. Next, I contoured my face. I did a little bit of a different shape today because I was going for like a more chiseled, masculine-ish type look on my fluffy face <laughs> my face is fluffy now i'll get my angles back but right now we're fluffy so yeah i tried to give myself some more shadow under my cheekbones to kind of make them a little bit more prominent make my um, forehead a little bit more bronze this is where the boy beat kind of comes in because i wanted to look like i had been in the sun 
when I was done with my contour and the concealer underneath I got out my Colourpop highlighter in the shade Candyman and I just used it lightly on my face to kind of bring that glow from within because obviously I can't use like crazy highlight with this look so yeah okay so I'm about to put powder on my face to like set this base and I just wanted to quickly talk about how I feel about the foundation so when I applied it on it went on like nothing it is very 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 skin like very light um I didn't want to like overload my face by putting more and more product on so I was like okay let me just do my regular base and see what happens and I mean you guys saw I didn't overload the concealer or anything did I like under my eyes I went crazy but like the rest of my face not really just a few dots here and there I'm covered like <laughs> I'm covered <laughs> by the blood like I can still see like spots and blemishes like peeking through but not to the point where I feel any type of way about it. I feel like I've got like a full face on. This is incredible. I'm shook. But anyway, that's that. <laughs> I have also got the NARS uh, Light Reflecting Setting Powder. The Loose Setting Powder. Because I don't know, I didn't want to try the... I might get the Press Powder at some point. But I wanted to try Loose because I'm used to Loose Powders. In the shade Mess or Misa, I don't know, M-E-S-A, that's the one, so that's what it looks like, that's it in the little thing, it's so cute, but yeah, I'm going to apply this on my face and let you know how I feel in a second, that's what it looks like on the inside, very interesting packaging, I like it, Picasso, I applied the powder like you would a regular powder, self-explanatory um, I'll save my thoughts on the powder for later continuing with the sun kiss look I went in with my bronzer from Fenty Beauty and Coco Naughty all over my face I would have gone with freckles but I do not have what do I I'm scared of doing freckles I'm very scared <laughs> so I'm not do that today um, but when it was done I went in with blush it was a last minute addition because I didn't really want to use blush at the beginning but I'm glad I did it look cute again straightforward application put a little bit on the back of my hand using the brush applied it to my cheeks a little bit under my eye because i felt like it and on my nose because it was cute and i thought it would bring that sun kissed you know almost sunburned type look but i liked it in the end so it was cool it was all good okay i'm gonna call myself out before you guys get the chance to i completely messed up my eyebrows i was going for like a really bushy brow and there's two products that i really wanted to get before this video um but I, I didn't have the time to get it one of them is like the felt tip brow product thing i'm gonna have to get it now in a brow pencil because this this is not working for me it's not working um my brows ended up looking like a dollar store pound shop wolverine um hate them i i yeah no they were terrible i had to go in with like concealer and just kind of fix it and bring it back to the shape that i typically would do but yeah my brows were the worst thing on my face and i'm very upset but everything else made up for it so i mean they don't even look that bad on camera now well no the first one doesn't the second one looks absolutely atrocious but anyway we move on okay on to the eyes i wanted to do something slightly colorful but also very simple so i took two shimmers one really coppery one and one like green gold shifty one and i just lightly put that on my eyes the brush wasn't working i used my fingers and then i gave myself a very very messy um, red wing with two red shades one shimmer one matte I've watched a few of these videos and I know the majority of them the girls wear little to no color and I just wanted to represent for the girls who love color 
just one time for the one time okay okay as you are I also wore lashes this time um it's quite ironic that I wore lashes for the simple look and I don't wear lashes for the dramatic looks but I felt like it and I thought it would you know elevate the look a little bit more it did a little bit you know it added that slight zhuzh that's like drama that it needed it tied the look together is what i'm trying to say jesus english and me we are not friends the lips were very simple brown lip liner clear lip gloss done just did easy i'm just going to quickly fix my hair fix the front oh about this i have never ever 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 used a powder that felt so soft so velvety literally the nars foundation the light radiant foundation and the powder are made for this clean girl thing i'm so sorry i keep looking at the viewfinder because i'm just admiring my beauty but <laughs> they are perfect the, the powder so fine so soft so just it just blends into the skin it is amazing uh, at some point i was like feeling my face like yo do i really have powder on but i wasn't sticky you know you know that draggy feeling you get when you touch your face and it's got like wet foundation on it i didn't get that actually what i got was like velvet my skin feels like velvet right now it feels very velvety like kind of like the packaging on the nars boxes and like the lids it feels velvety it's so nice it's so lightweight i don't wear makeup to work because i cannot stand the feeling of makeup after eight hours of work i can do this i can wear this for the whole day i'm not going to be doing a wear test today because <laughs> i refuse i spent the rest of the day filming ended up taking this video 10 to 11 hours later look at my face look at my face girl okay i'm done I think this is going to be my new favorite foundation, especially going into summer when we don't need like all that coverage because we're going to sweat it off anyway. And if this is long wearing, I can last through the summer heat. Hey, Holy Spirit. I mean, we don't even have heat here in, in the UK. We only have, what, two days of summer, so we should be fine regardless. But I, th I think I love it. I think I do. Typically with foundations and powders, by now with all of this talking that I'm doing, they would have settled into my fine lines. I see the lines, but the product is not like split there. It's not separated. It really hasn't. Like It's not. It has not. It's 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 fine. I'm I'm good. <laughs> holy Father, hey, holy Father, I'm screaming. <laughs> and I haven't used setting spray. I did buy the Milk Hydro Grip setting spray. I don't need a lot of it, so I'm just gonna try and use just the tiniest bit, just because we're here. We're trying new products. I might as well. It's a regular pump spray. It's not like the aerosol kind of spray. So I'm gonna go a bit further and just just kind of like, cause I don't want my hair ever in back to. That should be enough. If it looks skin like before, it is skin now, cause bruh. I'm gonna have to use that setting spray a bit more so I know exactly how I feel about it. Um, cause I only use the tiniest little bit only on like the bottom half of my face. Um, foundation, powder, I love it. When I go down, my mom's gonna see my face and she usually judges whether or not she buys stuff by how my face looks. This is fantastic. This is amazing. I think I am in love. This trend has been going on for a while now. I don't know if it's dead now or not, but I am the queen of doing trends when they are dead. So I saw a friend do this and she made me realize that whenever I see this trend going around, it's usually white girls and there's nothing wrong with that, but black girls can do this too <laughs> because black girls can do anything black girls can do anything so i was like yeah you're right you're right we can do this and the only reason i bring it up is because the typical hairstyle that you see with this look is a slick bun or just slick back hair like real slick real tight real like 
pulled back and I understand that like in the standard of beauty that is considered like a classic look and everything but like we don't necessarily have to do that if you haven't got that type of hair and you don't enjoy rocking your hair like that then zozui I feel like the whole point of the clean girl makeup look is just kind of like um a more minimalistic take on the everyday makeup look but like you look put together you look ready to go to a business meeting if you need to you can go grocery shopping if you need to it's like this is a classic look that you can rock now in 10 years from now 20 years from now and you will still look good it's just a classic classic look and um, listen black hair has been here from the dawn of time so we might as well just take our space in this i would love to see someone do this with like an afro or locks locks would be sick my hair and i i don't know we're not we don't have the best of relationships and i have been coming to terms with that recently and just trying to like be better and do better with my hair and if you guys notice this is the style i have been rocking for the past few videos i've i've been loving this style it's just easy for me it doesn't take me too long to get ready it doesn't take me too long to do the hair and i think that's part of the embodiment of the clean girl look something that's really quick really simple straight to the point easy you can do it quickly and just kind of go about your day i think that is what you know the whole clean girl look is about i decided to add a bit of color to it because i feel like this clean girl aesthetic this clean girl trend is very very personal um to everyone who does it it's a personal thing and me personally I like a bit of colour so I put a little bit of a red you know liner situation there I put a little bit of gold in my inner corner like it's really blurred out really soft really smooth just real simple you know nothing too crazy um and I just went for a liner lip gloss combination I don't like lip gloss on myself because I always feel like um, my lips are not big enough to be doing that but this is giving this is this is giving i think this is going to be my everyday um look for well indefinitely i was going to say for 2022 but like indefinitely i think this is going to be my look i like my hair i like what it's doing um, i'm going to be switching my hair up very soon this is not a hair channel so i don't know i might take you along on the process or i might not depends on how i feel at if it's the vlog i will vlog but mm, we'll see let's just say that i have a really big problem with vlogging in public but that's that's that i've put on my classic accessories i always go for gold because i am a gold gal i have never watched the golden girls i feel like i should watch that i feel like it's something that i would enjoy but i've never watched it before but anyway my little hoops they are so tiny and dainty and cute and they don't feel very overwhelming with the rest of my piercings and i've got these rings just you know something light a little bit of spice i have rambled on for far too long but this is my take on the clean girl makeup look this is my hair for it Thank you for watching today's video leave me a like down below make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications and also leave me a comment do you want me to do like a full face of nars makeup i can't believe i have not used nars till now but let me know and also let me know if you would like to see a clean girl lookbook from me because i think i think i would enjoy making that i think i would enjoy making that very much thank you so much for watching i love you and i will see you oh today is sunday i will see you hopefully on tuesday with a haul a very expensive haul 700 pound worth well 700 pound plus haul i mean you're still here you're still watching the video go ahead and subscribe to the channel over here watch some other videos go ahead do that do that while you're watching other videos i am gonna go look for more black girls doing this trend with their natural hair 
with a relaxed, straightened, silk pressed, afro puff, baby hers. I'm gonna go watch them and be inspired. Okay, bye.